Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. It's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today because we've got a very, very neat program planned for you. Today's topic is fun with allium. Yes, allium. It's an exciting flower. It's an interesting flower. And the folks at Blooming of Belloit in Belloit, Wisconsin have sent us some great samples of allium so that we can show you some ways that this can be incorporated into your flower arranging. And I think you're going to really enjoy it. Notice this first design. The first design features several cubes of glass with some water in it several spheres placed in here to help hold our mechanics. We've got our allium here and here and here and here. It gives a great sculptural effect and we've got some roses mixed in, a little bit of curly willow. The design is done in a modular section with two component parts. It's a very, very contemporary chic kind of design and it's just a start to show you some of the great things that can be done with this wonderful product, allium. Let's show you a couple of other ideas that I think you might find of interest. And Let me just move these two modular sections away for a second and then we'll uh, show you a few more things. Here is an interesting piece that we've made up that we thought you might find uh, kind of uh, cool using and incorporating allium into it. It's a large piece as you can see and if you look at it quickly you would think that this was a very very classical design but it's not. It has a kind of classical feel to it but if you examine it up close we've got of course our allium. We want to make sure we get that in as part of this demonstration. We have carnations which are a more classical kind of flower but if you look closely you'll find it's mixed in with viburnum. Lots of viburnum also from the great folks at Blooming of Belloit and we also have mixed in here kiwi vine. Kiwi vine is mixed into this design and a lot of this design is actually made of carnation stems that we had left over from other designs and that makes up a very very interesting uh, kind of infrastructure so it looks very very complex visually when you look at it it feels classical at first glance but when you actually start looking at it close up it's very contemporary in some of the treatments and materials and mixtures that we have here it's very very intricate visually indeed and lots and lots of moss covering up our mechanics you don't even see a container in this again another example of a great design incorporating this wonderful flower our allium uh, into it let's see what else we can come up with using allium let me take this and put this aside for a second Here's a third design that we want to show you. This one, I love this one. This one is really cool. It's a little bit on the large side, but I think you guys can really get a sense of some of the great things that we can do with this particular product. This design is large, it's impressive, it's massive. It starts with a very, very nice container. You'll notice that we've got a mixture of only two kinds of flowers in this particular design. We happen to have um, our allium of course because we want to feature that. Notice we've got allium here and here and here and here. We've got a different variety here and we've got it mixed in with some of our uh, river cane and it gives a neat effect. We even took some of the stems of our allium and worked some of the cut stems and worked it into the infrastructure of this design. This stuff here is called spirea. It is great. It is a wonderful product available May and June. Again, both of these products, both our allium as well as our spirea are made courtesy of the great folks of Blooming of Belloit in Belloit, Wisconsin. And you can see that once you have incredible product like this, you can come up with some very, very interesting and unique kinds of results. Let me just move the camera up a little bit because just so you can get a sense of the height of this thing, it is a very, very large size design, very, very contemporary, very, very neat. Okay, now, you know, if we're going to show you fun with allium, I don't only like to show you stuff that's made up. Let's actually make something up using this great product. And so let's take a container and actually do a design incorporating our allium into it. To use uh, our allium, I'm going to use a few other things too. This is river cane. We've tied a few pieces of river cane together to kind of give us an interesting start to it. And I'm going to take a couple of pieces of my river cane and work them into our design. And this is just to get us going. Of course, if we're going to have a design featuring allium we want to make sure we get allium into it and so let's take some nice big pieces of allium and work it into our arrangement and you can see that this particular flower is it's got a lot of character it's big it's bold it makes a statement and it doesn't take all that many 
allium to come up with an interesting effect on a design just by taking a few allium and taking them and working them into a design notice. Three here in the middle, it draws your eye in, it's big, it's bold, and it certainly makes a statement. Now we're going to mix our allium with some other things as well. well. Of course you never can go wrong with roses and we've got some very pretty roses that we want to incorporate into our design and so I'm going to incorporate a few roses mixing them in along with our allium. And so let's take some roses, cut some down <coughs> and work a few roses into our composition. I'm going to work some roses not only in the top part but let's work a few down coming down a little bit further working one over here, here, here. I'm going to also incorporate some working over slightly to one side and I'm going to work another one in over here and then how about something coming out over on the bottom like so. So we've got a very, very interesting thing going on with our roses here and I'm going to work one more rose into this composition Let's work one right over here and let's mix in where we're playing with some really interesting aspects with our allium. Let's mix in some tropical foliage with it. And so I've taken some of our tropical foliage. We can take something like either aspidistra or a tie leaf. We use either one of them and I've taken it and I've kind of folded it over on itself. Let's work a few of those into our design. I've got one over here. Let's place one over into there and then let's work a third one over along here in between our roses. So we've got some interesting things going along with our tie leaves. And now let's take another flower, one that you normally wouldn't expect that would be mixed in with some of our allium and roses. Why not? How about carnations? Carnations come in a variety of different colors. They're available throughout the year. They're pretty and we want to have some contrast and this helps fill in our design very, very nicely. And notice that with a few of our carnations, we're working some things in through the middle of the design and I'm going to continue the carnation motif working out a little bit over on this side and I'm going to place another one coming in right about here in the middle. So we've got some very, very interesting things going on here. We've got our allium creating a major point of interest here. We've got our roses coming down and giving us a nice line going in this direction. Our carnations coming down giving us a nice line in this direction, an interesting aspect with our uh, with our uh, tropical foliage. To cover our mechanics we're going to take a little bit of our sheet moss and work some sheet moss in, typically used in a lot of our contemporary expressions. And you can see that with a few allium and mixing it with other materials how we can come up with something that's really cool and we can do it very, very nicely. Well, my viewer, what do you think? Quick? Easy? Of course, that's the Rittner Floral School way. And we enjoyed having you come in and visit in our classroom today. We've shown you uh, a few examples of designs made up using allium, made a beautiful design incorporating allium in front of you. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration. And please, by all means, feel free to view our other demonstrations incorporating these wonderful blooms from Blooming of Belloit, Belloit, Wisconsin. On behalf of Rittner Floral School, I thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.